pretty soon we won't have a daily newspaper. That's some more blues for you. To wake up with your coffee and no newspaper to read. Because I'm computer illiterate. I don't know how to type either. <laughs> and you can't teach your old dog new tricks. Give me a copy of the Times Picayune. <laughs> I acquired my first instrument the way many guitar players do, from a pawn shop. <laughs> when I was a little boy, you know, my teenage years, uh, my big sister took me to a pawn shop, and that's where I got my first electric guitar. Because prior to that, I'm a self-taught musician, and uh, I uh, got fascinated by the guitar at an early age. Uh, my uh, mother was a musician, her father was a musician, so I had the genetic component. People come from all over the world to experience the indigenous culture. And if we can't get this back, you know, like it used to be, who's gonna come down here if there are no Mardi Gras Indians and no brass bands? And, the New Orleans music, you know, scene suffers, you know, because this is what attracts people. And we've had things like uh, the television show Treme. I was in Treme, by the way. And uh, that helped enormously because all of a sudden, the New Orleans music and culture was spread out all over the world. And people saw this, and it made a lot of people want to come and move to New Orleans to help rebuild the city and be a part of the burgeoning uh, movie industry and uh, the cultural uh, aspect of New Orleans. My way over. Wandering, I've been lost. My love and passion for music has had a tremendous impact on my life because the only thing that I can really brag about, you know, in my whole life is that I was able to support myself by music alone. I've never had a day job. And, you know, uh, that's... Uh, something a lot of musicians or artists, you know, cannot say. Many rivers to cross, but this way to begin, I'm praying for time. <laughs>